Hello, this is a new tutorial about uh, how to work along the path of a line or have a linear production of, uh, of things. In this case you want to have the uh, Renaissance mold along the uh, ceiling of a uh, room as an exercise of how things work in Blender. So for that we have to put take a background image this is a property of the 3d view not of your model so i prepared one you can easily find them in an in internet i prepared one so <coughs> uh, i can adjust that it's uh, working on the top view if we are using it like that and for that you can have the section and so on organized as pictures and then we reconfigure or retro-engineer your 3D object from different photographs if you want or plans. Okay now this is a top view um, and you can see it it's a little uh, uh, hidden only in auto view the, the moment you touch it it's gone if you go back to auto view you see your uh, image. And now we want to take this profile here with these curves. So we see this is uh, the size of 10 meters. That's too much. Then put it to 2 meters. Here we are. So, and um, now go and adjust that. Unfortunately, I can't. I didn't find out how to pick these things. Now we are here. That's good. And. shift you can go more detailed and now we adjusted the thing so because of the curved line we need the infinitesimal lines therefore we can't use the geometry of the meshes we need these infinitesimal lines here and it's open not closed therefore we take the busy and we come with this default um, element go to for edit we don't need the normals and in the first step we don't want to have the handles because we start with the, with the polygon, with straight lines, therefore we change this to vectors, straight lines, and then we will adjust the curves uh, in, the second, uh, in the second step of work. So select this thing, move it to the origin. We'll switch that off to simplify our movement. G, go here, and now extrude. Extrude. I always take the turning points. Extrude. Something like that. So here we are with our polygon. So, okay. Now we want to have these curved things. For that, we need the handles and go for refinement. So, this, for example, is not good. Put it here. Now, go here and move it get the curve like this I'll take them okay now here we are with this guy this so this is a little but in principle it's not 
too much work. This should be uh, aligned, so go here for a line. So we don't have uh, an edge here. Good. 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 Um, Okay, this should be our profile. Get rid of the handles. Um, and here we are. Leave it. This is our profile. Looks good. Okay, now for the room or the wall we want to apply this mold to. We uh, select another layer. This should be geometric, so not arithmetic. So go for a plan and orthogonal setup. So don't scale this, otherwise you mesh up proportions of things. So always go into it and then you can change dimensions because this now is a construction of things, not the form of things. So uh, here, delete the vertex with the corresponding face and uh, edges. Uh, scale the whole thing by a factor of six. So now we are here. So get this one, make a round corner with it. This is done with mesh, edges, bevel. Confirm, go for the tool, have it for five meters. No. Mesh, vertices, bevel, five meters. We have here, no, it's too much. Go for four and have 32. So that's a nice round corner. Take this, move him back a little, scale, uh, extrude, Y. Okay, that's it here. Now I select all, extrude that in Z. Seven, six meters is good. Now make a door in here. Um, B. This is G X. I think that's better. Now we're opening there, loop and cut sides here. Again, loop cut sides, one, but minus one by three. Okay, now we have a nice proportion here. Do the thing with a vertical. Subdivide this in two parts, three parts, and delete this area. So uh, fine, give that. The depth extrude y dot five. Okay, now we have this. Go for the top and let get the path. Um, with select, select loop. Deselect. No. Okay, again. Select loop. 
don't select this so this is our loop for the for the mold separate that make that the path um, with the anchor and the mold and the plane is the wall so um, separate this section of the wall as well therefore we go in edit select this and this and select and make another wall okay the wall wall oi o1 so here we are okay now the path is this this needs to be an infinitesimal line so we have to convert it to a curve from mesh to curve from geometry to arithmetics so that this can be the production of the mold go here for its parameters and this is a people object the mold and here we are with our thing nice setup good this is what we wanted this here needs to be bigger go here g z and make it the neighboring wall okay now this is in it's not proper here with the normals so we have to go uh, in select all and say mesh normals where is it normals recalculate outside now this is proper again check whether the the doubles no oh, this is good now um, go back now we have it smooth it good but this is not nice as well so go in with the smoothing so we need sharp edges here which means we need to cut and put it there okay good cut put it here here cut put it here if now we go to object mode this is better good precise this looks nice the same here now with the path and the mold smooth it and then we, we are proper very good now the materials <coughs> we say this is a white blister um, this should be a principal BSD and needs roughness the same here white blister same here white blister good now we need a floor plane plane scale 12 okay good this plane needs a new material and we say like ground ground blaster good we have that 
now <clears throat> the camera adjust it landscape adjust it good having that now the lamp the sun rendering This sun should be diffuse. And should be bright. This looks proper. Okay, then I have the rendering. That's it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.